Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to iRacing for some more action today in the Verizon IndyCar Series. It's been a while since we ran in the IndyCar Series on a road course, of course, running the Indy 500 a couple of weeks back. So it's time to get turning right again and hopefully we can do it without putting it in the fence. We're here at the Watkins Glen International Circuit. This is the longer version of the track. I can't quite remember what it's called. I think it's like called Classic Boot or something. It's it's where you actually, instead of turning right after the, car uh, after the bus stop, well, you still turn right, but you actually go immediately left afterwards. For those that watch NASCAR and whatnot, you'd probably know Watkins Glen uh, being one of the only two road courses on the calendar, but this is a different sort of... Um, version of Watkins Glen. It's sort of a longer version which makes it a little bit more interesting. So the distance today is 38 laps. We're going to be making two pit stops. Now there's a couple of different ways you could play this strategy but we're going to go with uh, going the full distance on the first and second stop and then hopefully just short filling the car to the end. However if we do slip up in between those uh, in at any point in those stints and we think we may have damage we might have to switch over but for now we are just going to focus on staying out of the mess as you can see I am absolutely dead last and this is because I 1x my qualifying lap for those that are new to iRacing or have never been on the service before 1x means you basically had an off track so I stuck my wheel on the grass coming out of I think it was turn number nine or I can't quite get the numbers right in my head but either way yeah we stuck our wheel on the grass which meant the lap time didn't or did not count, so uh, it wouldn't have been that good anyway. Unfortunately, we've only done like two or three hours of practice going into today's race. Just been so busy throughout the week, so we really have no setup on the car at all. It's just basically a, a little bit better than the baseline set, pretty much. We only, I mean, Cy Andrew, who's our teammate in this race for Wyvern Racing, he's only done an hour's practice as well, so hopefully together we can get up the grid. He's actually starting ninth, so he's midway through the field. But in all honesty, we just need to avoid anything that happens on this first lap. These cars are so quick on this track, and this track's so tight and narrow that we just need to keep our eyes peeled for any trouble that may happen. Anyway, guys, that's about it. We'll just switch over to the actual race commentary now, and hopefully we can get through this field as good as possible. It's definitely not going to be easy, but... As it is in IndyCar, anything can happen. And I got all day, I'm starting dead fucking last. <laughs> There's not even someone on my inside. Oh, wait, the he's up there. Car. All right. All right, engine map one. Get ready, going green. They might be going out of the last corner here, just keep that in mind. The pace car is in. Go! Green, green, green! That three wide ahead of me. Car right. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Should have made six gear longer. Fuck! Jesus. Car right. Still there. Keep to the left. Clear on the right. Right side. Keep to the left. Clear. Right side. Stay on the left. Clear. Right side. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Wrecking, wrecking. You've got a slow car on the left. Clear on the right. Car stop on the left. Go left. I'm okay. You've got a slow car on the right. Not impressive driving there. Not impressive.
Go for Adam, I won't block him. Left side. Stay on the right. Stay on the right. Keep to the right. Clear. Oh, you retard. God, the arrow push is horrific. There's the weight jacket when you need it. Car on your left. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Just keep hitting your mark. You're in the top ten. Come on, getting sketchy. Just heads up. What's getting sketchy? I went down. Turn one. Yeah. I went down one click on the rear roll bar. On exit or on entry? Entry and exit. Yeah, we definitely should have made the top gear longer. <laughs> I'm on like the rev limit halfway down the straight. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. That was my fault, Henry. I, I wasn't expecting you to be there. Thanks, man. Didn't need to. What did he say? I let him through. There's no way I was going to hold him behind me. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Is Ucliotti out or is he in the lead? He's leading. I'm up into ninth, so it's half the field done. <laughs> Thank you.
Alright, the arrow wash is horrible. Fucking hell, glad it was gone. I'm gonna go up point two of a degree on the front wing and a stop. Alright. Uh, actually, I might make it point three because I got no front wing at all. I mean, I got no front grip at all. How am I up into 8? Did someone crash? I don't know. Oh, Usher and Constantini are out. Yeah, they were the guys I told you that wrecked early. Oh, really? Yeah, they wrecked coming out of the boot. Yeah, definitely going down on that, uh, Jesus fucking lord. If you slide it once, it'll slide, like, it'll, you have to cool them back down, keep that in mind. You know, I just fucked myself big time. Alright, that front wing's coming back out. <laughs> Don't need any of that. <laughs> I got just one. Got a little bit loose. You're telling me.
probably 10 laps too late on that change, <laughs> that bar change. Wrecking, wrecking. Front straight. Uh, uh, sorry, after turn one. You got a slow car on the right. Can't Not me though. On the right. <laughs> that was fucking close. <laughs> was that? Who was that? Was that Marco? Uh, that was, uh, no, that was somebody else. I think that may have been. Uh, actually, I don't know who that was. Oh, that puts me up in the seventh. Survival of the fittest. We're, and we're not. <laughs> we're just lucky. <laughs> Survived longer than anyone else. Yeah. Hey, my fronts are are going. I just literally had that same thing. The problem is. I've been following this guy in front of me for a while now, and my fronts have just been going ever since the start. Yeah. Definitely, I'm thinking about taking front wing out now. <laughs> really? Oh, I'm so loose. What's your bars at? One and four. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Yeah. One What's on four? the back. One? one on the back, four on the front. Take some bar out of the front so you're not having so much wheel cranked into it on exit. All right. Just be like, do it in one corner at a time. Got sweat in my eye. See, I never get that. I don't know what it is. I must have really long eyelashes or something because I never get that issue. All the drivers that I know complain about it, like relentlessly with the helmet. I'm not wearing a helmet. Yeah, in real life. <laughs> to be honest, I am just puttering around right now. I do not trust this car at all. Five lap warning on fuel. Already? Yeah. My question is, how are we supposed to do six laps on these tires with after pitting? Like, we're gonna be loose as fuck. Should be okay. It's only six laps. It's not worth like the extra how many over seconds it is. Because our lap times are about the same as when we started. That is true. The guy in front of me definitely has a you got about low downforce, uh, high downforce setup compared to us. Put your arm up. Yeah, he pulls away from me through all the tight stuff, and then I get him on the straight. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, I'm behind uh, the 11 car, not Barno. Okay. They both have high downforce, I'm pretty sure, though. Yeah. Almost died again. Fuck me. I'm trying to diamond some of these corners a little bit, and it's just I'm trying to catch me on exit. Same here.
All right, now that's the the guy that I'm racing with has literally done what I've what I've been thinking about the last like ten minutes. He's pitted early. So it's he not worth it, I think. You don't reckon? Because you still have to pit a second time anyway. Yeah, but he's gonna take oh, he's gonna take tires on the second stop and use the new tire speed. What new? There is no new tire speed though. We're running the same lap time. Yeah, I suppose. Well, new tire confidence, more like it. Yeah. Why am I on the rev limiter so hard in this session? Got two laps to go on the line here. Pitting on lap 26. Sorry, uh, 26 to go. I got three laps at the line. The car's actually not too bad on the long run, it's just a little bit sketchy. Yeah. Adam's holding on to Henry though. Yeah, For now. Exactly. Slowly flying back. You got You're drafting back on the, the, uh, on the straight. As far as I can tell. Like Henry's faster over lap, but just ha Adam is gaining so much on the straights because of the draft. Right. Alright, I'm about to pit next time, bye. Do the same. Yeah, I'm not making a wind change. I would have died if I made a wing change. Yeah, same here. I'm going to leave it how it is. I had a lot more fuel than I thought I was, though. Ah, shit. I've shot my stall. Fuck. Ah, fucking water. Careful on pit exit though. Super fucking sketchy. Fuck, why did I lose my stop? Ah, oh, fuck. Fangman jumped me on the stop. Ah, 
Uh, if I hadn't have fucking missed my pit stall, that would have been a really good start. Oh, I think he pitted really early, by the way. Who, Fangman? Yeah. Yeah, I won't be surprised. Tyro is 70, uh, 79 and 83, front to rear. God damn it. That lap is shit. Fucking curbs. Ah, I just about died. Fuck. I fucking nailed the curb on the sheep hairpin, and the car went like four thousand feet in the air. Twenty more left. Hairpin. Yeah, the right hairpin in the at the end of the boot. Oh, okay. Damn it.
I don't know how, but Henry's caught back up to Mateo. Shit, I just spun. Turn one, fuck's sake. Ah, turn one curve is horrible. Yep. I almost did what you did at turn one. Yeah, I really cocked that up. I'm gonna have to pit with like six laps to go. Yeah. That's what I worked it out to be at the start. behind me. Yeah, who? That Fangman guy. Oh, yeah. How far would be you behind him with this? Six, seven seconds, maybe? So he should be able to make it to the end from here.
try and keep him behind me so that you can catch back up on the stop. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 hit the Car fence. Alright, clear. Hit it? No, I did. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna pit this lap. It's alright, I only tapped it. It's because I spun before, so my tyres are warped. Gotcha. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, Got the five lap warning. Thank God I didn't get any damage from that touch. I'm debating whether to take tires on this next stop or not. If you don't, you should come out um, in front of what's his name. He yeah, has I know who you're about. he has high downforce. How much? How many push pass have you got? Eight. I've got eight. Eight push pass. Okay. So, wait, you've got eight left in total. You've got ten laps yep. to go. You're in the top ten. Good job. All right. Um, because I could use the push to pass. Um. And he wouldn't, he couldn't get by me. You want this push to pass? Yeah, he was definitely on the button, and I was on the button as well, and he couldn't get by me, so... I reckon he'll be alright. Yeah, just wants a lot push to pass. <laughs> you 
Yeah, exactly. Hey, a little up. <laughs> Put it in map 8. <laughs> <laughs> Why? We'll save and see if you can finish the race. <laughs> yeah, if not, fuck that. <laughs> they're, they're only t 11 seconds back. Oh, they pitted because they were about to hit traffic. I'm just fucking about now, I can't be bothered. <laughs> this car is just so retarded. I just don't get it because the season started so well. Like I had, we had so much pace at Laguna, and then ever since we've been dog shit. Just don't get it. Yeah, it's because everybody's figured out the car. putting 26 liters in it, it's not going to be enough for tire change. Remember to add just a little bit extra so you, if you do have to use that push to pass. Yeah, I only really need 25, but I'm putting 26 in. Plus then whatever I have in my tank when I pit. Right. I think I got damage. I'm like seven tenths off where I was before. You think you just knocked the toe out or something? Yeah, left front's probably knocked out a bit. Side pit, do not forget. I want to know why we're so ridiculously quick in a straight line in this race. Like, what's different between the lead is now? Know. It's really weird. Langman beat me out, what the fuck? Wow. How the fuck did he beat me out? Jesus, he must be stupid fast. And that's with me holding him up as well. He's, he is the number two card.
What's your fastest lap been? 22. You've got five left to go. Eight. Yeah, mine's a 23. What was that, George? Push me off the track? Low. <laughs> What position are you in? Eight. It's not bad. <laughs> yeah, I reckon I could maybe have got seventh, but yeah. I looped it at turn one, didn't hit anything though. My tires are gonna be red hot now. Yeah, no, I, I know that. <laughs> I know that feeling. So you keep it together for four more laps. And I'll be fine. Was our nod running high or low? I didn't get close enough to tell. I know the guy behind him is running high down force. But I was catching um, Arnard, so shouldn't be Got too to be bad. Yeah, but I'm babying the car right now. I got pushed past the spare though, so... Oh, just use them, yeah. I'll put it this way, that guy in front of you was like a good second a lap quicker than me, and he was... he couldn't get past me until I put in the fence. No, it's he fenced it. He fenced, he fenced it. it. Go on. Oh, that's your spot. Yeah, but did he die or is he continued? Because it looks like he's still going. Yeah, but he hit it pretty hard. Uh. You should be able to catch him. You got two I'm left trying, to go. but I don't think I don't think he's that bad. He put in tail first, so he has to have to tiptoe around these corners. I just set my fastest lap. What was it? Uh, 23.1 I think. 23.2. Man, I wish you could watch the broadcast right now because it's really tight up front with Matteo and, and Henry. Yeah. That means one more lap to go.
Someone just fucking took me out. Oh! oh. No. No. Oh my god. No way. Unbelievable. Oh my god. He's back on track, but... Go get him, Sai! Nah, I'm not gonna catch him. <laughs> It'll be nice. But that's you have about two laps lost of fuel there. That. He lost the championship. Hey. Is it? Yeah, I think he had to win. Get the win to get the championship? I'm not sure what the points were. It was between him, Constantini, and Ugliotti, I think. Absolute disgrace. You and Constantini. Absolute disgrace. Oh, wait, Constantini was out? Yeah. Oh, he's put him in the wall. What? Oh, for his teammate. For his teammate. Oh, no, you're shit me. He's getting that. No fucking oh, way. My God. Drama. Go left. Drama. Holy shit balls. Alright guys, well there it was. What a interesting race. Uh, I reckon I probably could have had a 6th place finish had I not made so many mistakes. I mean, unfortunately, just not enough practice. I mean, that turn 1 spin caught too much of the kerb and then I don't know what happened when I just tagged the wall. It just rear end tried to uh, get away from me there. I was trying to, without being too much of a dick. I was trying to keep that guy behind me so I could help my teammate out. That was a little bit further up the road, but anyway, pretty dramatic race. I think we passed about five or six people, and then I think the other four guys, four or five drivers that we passed uh, were due to wrecks. As you can see, there's a wreck up ahead there, so pretty wild race, though. The leader ended up getting just completely wrecked out after the oh, on the last lap. I'm not quite sure if you guys could hear us uh, <laughs> laughing away on the radio because it was quite shocking. I mean, not um, a, a good laugh, quite a, more of an ironic laugh because it <laughs> was just so um, going to happen sort of thing. But yeah, no, so it looks like the the leader ended up getting sort of doored into the fence. Uh, whether or not it's intentional will be up for speculation. You can go, I'm not going to show it because I don't want to say any driver's names or anything on my recording but if you want to go check it out you can go look at the iRacing uh, broadcast that was this race I think it was Friday 9pm in UK so I think it was like 8pm GMT I'm not sure but yeah you can go check that out that would probably highlight it all and you might see one of the Wyvern cars on there but thanks guys for tuning in I know it was a pretty boring race after the first couple of laps we didn't quite have the pace here as I said just didn't do enough practice to get this car up to speed I mean my teammate Syandra did really well um, as I said before I reckon we probably could have had a sixth had I not made the mistakes and got onto the pack of those two guys uh, at the end there but all in all really fun race I'd as much as I hate this car because it's coming from an open wheel background, none of it makes sense. My teammate, um, Syandra, we were, as a team, really quick in the old DW12 car, but this car just seems to be all sorts of backwards. I don't know. I don't know what. I mean, a lot of it, a lot of these guys have figured it out and are really quick in it, but we just haven't figured it out yet. We're just ridiculously slow in this car because all the changes that you would m make logically in an open wheel car just does not seem to work on this car. So anyway, we'll go away and keep testing for next season and hopefully come up with some pace in the IR18 and hopefully get back to our success that we achieved this year at Indianapolis. All right, guys, once again, thanks for tuning in. And until next time, I'll catch you later.